Yeah, me smoke. Hi, DM Jones. How are you? I'm good. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Booth, drinking water. Instead of Jaeger. Drink him. <laughs> Hi, DM Jones. How are you? I'm good. How, oh. I'm at the Chattanooga Tweet Up. We are here at the Chattanooga Tweet Up 2011. DM Jones in the house. DM, how, how's it going for you so far? It has exceeded my expectations, my wildest dreams. It's uh, pretty damn cool having you and uh, all these other great uh, cigar makers and, and cigar smokers all in one place. This is awesome. And tomorrow's going to be even better. Tomorrow's going to be awesome. This, this is just Friday, the, the, the beginning of the herd. Now, now, this from concept to reality. How long did this take to put together? And this was kind of your baby, from my understanding, in a way. You you um, collaborated with some some guys. On yeah, this? Uh, it started at the Atlanta tweet up last year, Buckhead Cigar in okay. December. Uh, Jerry Cruz and I uh, talked a while at that uh, event, and uh, he said, "Hey, we should do this in Chattanooga sometime." I said, "Yeah, let's do it." Good idea. And Good idea. Um, after the uh, trip, uh, he and I were on that uh, where we went to the DR. Mm -hmm. Thank you to uh, La Aurora. Oh. Um, uh, we uh, got to get the product placement in there. Mm -hmm. um, we we decided we we're going to go ahead with it. And hey, hell, we're going to go see a baseball game too because we both love baseball. And uh, L.A. Dodgers uh, affiliate uh, Chattanooga Lookouts. Oh, nice. So um, we uh, started working on it, and we got a bunch of cigar makers. Uh, you were um, one of the first people we thought of uh, to to get in here to. To be special guests and and uh, you, and, and you were so kind as to get us these fantastic Namakubis. Oh, check it out! Check it right out! Right, like you know, product placement here. Shameless. This this cigar Shameless. is unbelievable. Thank you. And I got to give you that props mean, that means and and Mr. It. Allen, uh, Matt Allen, the uh, manager of this fine establishment props on uh, helping you out with the blending uh, back, uh, what was that, uh, June, July? Um, I or no, it was April. It, it was, yeah, it was April. in the spring. It was in the spring. Yeah. I'm not that good at keeping track of dates, but it was yeah. in the spring at some point. It all runs together after a while. It does you know, It does and, indeed. But uh, awesome, man. It, it's fantastic. Uh, and I appreciate you being here. It is and, my honor. And sir. dragging Dylan down, although I, we haven't seen him yet. Oh, well, he's, he's, is it, he's probably, he'll, he'll be here tomorrow, I'm sure. Okay, all right. Yes. So, all right, that's okay. it from the Chattanooga Tweet Up 2011. DM Jones, Esquire the Third, PhD, Esquire. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> are we still? Oh, I, I'm recording you now. Okay, tell me a little bit, if you can, about uh, Namakubi. Uh, Namakubi was a. Uh, obviously is our new limited series and as part of the blending process I took a couple of very good friends of mine to Honduras to help uh, people that I respect their opinion tremendously uh, in the business and we also happen to share uh, in my opinion a good a good friendship outside of the professional relationship and that was Matt Allen, Matt Weris, aka Matty Cupcakes from Akron, Ohio Mr. Robbie Morton of Cordova Cigars in Pensacola and uh, also uh, Mr. Bill Niederer from Mojito Cigar in Scottsdale, no, Cave Creek, excuse me, outside of Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, we all went down to Honduras together and, uh, you know, we kind of, uh, we walked them. Obviously, they had been through the blending process previously, but I don't, I don't know if they had ever been invited to take part in um, or, or uh, be a part of the blending process of a specific manufacturer's cigar. And I just thought that, you know, I thought, uh, and thanks so highly of them, I thought, why not have them involved, you know? Um, they're people that have, that have supported my brand for the last three years, and so I thought uh, how appropriate to have them involved at a, at a higher level, you know? So we went down, and uh, I'm extremely proud of this cigar, and I feel that it's a true representation of myself, my brand, um, and it's something I'm, I'm extremely proud to put on the shelves in stores. Uh, next to our new Connecticut as well, uh, and uh, you know, continue to grow our brand. Man. So it's uh, it's uh, that's uh, that's what's up, as they say. That's awesome. Yes. Well, and more importantly, mm -hmm. 
Last time we were here, you had your hair cut wow. really short. And now you've got this new hairdo going on. What? Tell us the story behind the hair, man. You know what, man? <laughs> I I feel that you know I was I, my power levels were low, and I used to wear my hair very large, and I was at full force at that time, and I felt like I really needed to bring it back. I needed my power level restored, and so you know I, I figured you know why not give it a try. So I grew the hair back, and uh, lo and behold, my my power came back with it. So I'm I'm here, I'm new and improved, back to the old. Uh, Matt Booth, and uh, you know, we're not going back, we're only going forward. Okay, all right, thank you. Absolutely, thank you, Matt.